understand where we are now, you need to go back to the late 19th century. The late 19th century saw a period of, of extraordinary globalization. I tend to think of it as the first age of globalization. Enormous increases in uh, trade, uh, in capital flows, in migration. And then in 1873, there was a financial crisis, one of the first really global financial crises. And in the aftermath of that, populism on both sides of the Atlantic came to the fore, and it was the usual cocktail. Nativism on immigration, we have to restrict immigration. Uh, backlash against free trade, we have to impose tariffs. Attacks on corrupt elites, these terrible people who run the place uh, have to go, and the outsiders come to the fore politically. This is the standard formula for populism. In the 1870s, there was a chap named Dennis Kearney, whose slogan was, the Chinese must go. And he campaigned to restrict immigration from China into the United States very successfully, so that in 1882, Congress passed the Exclusion Act. And from that point on, Chinese immigration to the United States was limited to the point of stopping altogether. So we've seen late 19th century, seen a late 19th century version of this movie before, and there's nothing about it that's new.